Ooh, g'day guys, welcome back to Arthur's Videos. All right, have I got another one for you guys this week? I was gonna do, I was gonna shoot it, but I thought I'll do it, you know, because I was, I was, you know, I was pissed off when I was doing this board, okay. But I wanted to show you something. But you know, the old saying is, I need to get a yum char into me, man. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna get another yum char into it. There it is. There, there's my sponsored cup by everybody. You know, here's the bottle again. There it is. There, there's the bloody bottle, mate. This is a nice drop, mate. Oh, there it is. I've uncorked it. I'm pouring the yum char in. It's a bit early this morning, <laughs> okay. No, oh, I'm gonna pour a bit more. Fuck it. Get, get, get me motivated today. Yeah, there it is. There. Look at that for a poor mate. That's more. Of, that's a double nip. That one. All right, guys. Cheers. Mm. It's actually ten o'clock in the morning. All right. <laughs> Early start. You know. So yeah. So what I was. So what I was saying was. I got this in a few weeks ago. Okay. You know what it is. It's the scriptures up the top. But I wanted to show you what patience does, how to fix this up, you know. So, yeah. All right, I've got the safety, I'll tell you the safety out this time. But I'm revealing what it is. Okay, there it is there. Okay. It's a Space Invader soundboard. And I started working on it uh, yesterday. And I was, I was swearing my guts out. No, man, you don't swear. You, you're a good church-going person. You don't swear. You don't use the F word or the four little words that come out of your mouth, mate. You're, you don't swear or nothing. What happened with this, man? Someone worked on this previously. Don't forget, this is 1978, man. Okay? Oh, fuck, I nearly stepped on this galaxy board. And um, what happens was I got it in, all right? And someone's done some previous uh, repairs to it. And when I plugged it in, I had no sounds were missing. So what happened was, while I'm shooting this video, just to give you guys a bit of a heads up, if you ever work on some old boards like this because they're delaminating, uh, what happens is from the previous work guy who'd done the work, okay, I'll try to explain it to you. Okay, I'm going to hold it here. These are LM3 3900s, okay? They're here. All right, you see all those? What happened was, the previous person, I didn't do that. That's I've left that as it is, okay? The previous person worked on it, and they just put it in there, and they just left it, okay? So what's happened was, these boards are delaminating, okay? What happens is the tracks are failing, okay, they're coming off the boards, basically, you know what I mean, so have a look at it over this side here, so I'm going to hold it here, do you see how I've lost one of those little pads, they're gone, see the little pads have gone, you know what I mean, so how this guy here, this is not my work, this is the, how that guy's done, or whoever worked on this, you know, he's probably not around this earth at the moment, you got to sort of see it, okay, I have to remove it, see how the pads have gone, so... I'm going to drop in some new LMs. I'm going to put the sockets in, and I'll check out his ones, basically. But the Space Invader soundboard is only seven basic sounds, you know what I mean? Yeah, the doom, doom, doom. There's only seven sounds on this, okay? But I thought, all right, I'll fucking work out which is which, and I'll tidy up. I'll do a bit of repair. I haven't cleaned this up. I just, as it is, okay, there it is there. I haven't cleaned it. You know, these are the ones to control each different sounds, basically. You can, you can sort of see them. There is seven pots for the seven sounds, you know, for each one, and there's the master one. Okay, so what I did with this guy's board, okay, I sucked out the IC and I cleaned it. So how what I did was... I got some uh, solder wick. This is solder wick. This is quality solder wick. This is about 30 bucks, this roll is. And um, I got my soldering iron, okay, and I got it. Hang on, oh, hold, I can't hold two things. Hang on, put my knee there, hold it. So what I do is I get the solder, I get my iron, and you go and you stroll down with the iron going downwards, okay? And you clean up the tracks a bit, you know what I mean? So you could sort of, sort of repair the... Uh, the track, so you can sort of see, you can see how, you can sort of see the difference, so I've done all of them, okay, you can certainly see the bronze colour, the, the copper in there, so before I um, 
I put what I'm going to put in here is a machine socket. Okay, this this is what a machine socket looks like. It's uh, it's got a really they got small legs and they got a little. Part of me, it's um, uh, it's sort of a pin. It's a pin, and on the to the bottom of it to the housing, it's got a bit of a curve. So I want to use these guys, and the reason is when I put it into the board. Oh, before I put it into the board, it's the best way is take a photo off your tracks, off the top boards. The reason I say that is because when you put your socket in, can you see what? Can you sort of see? Where the pads go, you can't. But if you take a photo, you can sort of remember where the tracks go in case. So by doing that, when you put your little IC socket in, you drop it in, don't put it all the way in. Or, okay, have a little bit sticking up. Okay, have a little bit sticking up, basically. So when the solder flows, the solder can float all the way up to the pin. And then they get your iron and you put a bit of solder here and here and here and here onto your um on the top pads especially here 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 and these ones because your bottom ones see how when you look if you lose a pad see like this one here's lost a pad so the pad is up the top so if you're going to put solder how's he going to go all the way through the top basically you know what i mean so by putting that's why i wanted to shoot this because mate was i cursing this board yesterday so I'm, as I said, I went back and bought a couple of them, okay, and I put them in there. So what I'm going to do now, okay, I'm not going to show you how to solder it. So, yeah, so you put it in there. Hang on, this is a better spot here. I can explain to you. Right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift it a little bit, and I'm going to oh, – my thumb's in the fucking way. So <laughs> have a look at that. I can't tell you the story with this. Just So what happened was – you put a bit of solder, you start from the bottom with the good pads, and you then you put your solder, a little bit of solder here to penetrate. Then you use your multimeter to, to check the continuity, for example, from here to here. All right, see if it works. But don't assume, like I said to my last ones, never assume, basically, you know. But I'm just trying to show you this, you know. So these old boards are pretty fucked. Go and buy these machine sockets, were not cheap, you know. But I've got another board here that I'm working for another guy. He too has got issues with his soundboards. Here's another one, okay? He's got issues with the soundboard. I'll work out which one it is. But this guy here, it hasn't been molested, okay? He's only got one guy. He's actually done this side here. You can sort of see how the old flux is, you know? So what I'll do is I'll work out what it is, and I'll put a, a normal socket, a dual wipe socket. But the reason I'm using the... The uh, machine socket is because the board on this guy is pretty, pretty fucked, okay? So, yeah, so, oh, it's pretty bad. Oh, hang on, hang on, here we go. Are we on the soundboard? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, hang on, we're going to finish the soundboard off. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that up, tidy it all up, okay? And then I'll put the uh, LM3s and I'll see what sounds come back in because this guy wasn't missing a few sounds, this board, you know, it wasn't. So I'll, I'll sort that out. So you, first of all, do that basically to fix the board up. I did clean it up a bit. You can sort of see how I've cleaned it a little bit so I could work with it. But yeah, see, this is what happens. The, the pads drop off. So how are you going to put solder through here? You know what I mean? It's not going to go through the, it seeps through the little hole. So by doing with the machine socket, that I only use it, use quality solder wick to clean the pads a bit, you know what I mean? So once you do that, it's easy to work with, you know what I mean? But um the uh one of the other guys um uh space invader board, okay here it is here. What's happened with this guy is the the pro uh the EPROMs were shot, okay? His EPROMs were not shot. I had a big argument with some guy yesterday with fucking Windows. He goes, oh, oh, if you don't have the little sticker on the window, you can lose the program. And I know, mate, you need an ultraviolet fucker to do it. Okay. This is the uh, the mask ROMs out of this guy's board, basically. So these are all dead. Mask ROMs pack up, okay? They do pack up, okay? There it is there. They're not 2708, they're 2716, okay? Because... Instead of having eight, they've done them in four now, all right? So, yeah, his, his, all of his were shot on this guy's board. So, it's got other issues anyway, so I'm working on that. But I wanted to show you the, um, okay, um, 
what I've done with that soundboard. But if you ever work on one of these boards yeah, out there, trust me, there is a lot of information out there. Uh, this is probably my, I've actually sat down the other day and worked out how many I've done. I'm doing two L boards and I've done about four uh, triple, triple boards basically. But what you do is make sure your program is right. In all, any other game, check your program, okay? And then you work backwards, you know what I mean? Like, you're going this way around, you know what I mean? Not that's a RAM chip. Uh, you work into the Z, uh, this, this is an 8080, then you got all your RAM chips here. But there is a lot of good information out there how, how to fix it. But always check your program because you never assume that the thing's working, you know what I mean? Like I did. I checked this before. I knew all of them were shot. So I, I, I burned a new set of ROMs, okay? Uh, this is Revision uh, 2, it's called uh, TV, uh, whatever the numbers are. That's what the revision, this one is for a, for this, this L board, basically. So, I've, as I said, I've done that. This one's still got a bit of issues. We're talking, we're nearly there. It's not the Rams, it's got some other issues, you know. So I'll work that out. But but the reason is I, I, I wanted to do it is because of this bloody board here, you know. Because, as I said, I, when you work on it, I'm going to work on this. I won't be around like I keep saying to you, you know. Let the next person who will work on it make his life easy if it ever packs up. And, okay, at least I give them credit, whoever worked on this. They've actually put uh, chips here. These are the uh, the 173s, they, the 173s here. These are decoders coming in. At least they put them in there because they do pack up, which is a great idea. So if you ever have it... Put a socket in, which ones that gets used or blows up or replaced, put a socket into it for the future for replacing. You don't have to put sockets in everything. Only put them in the ones that do pack up, basically. You know, like the audio section do pack up, basically. But as I said, this is 1978. So by doing that, you, you can sort of help the next person who's going to work on that. You know what I mean? Who's ever watching this video says, Hey, man, I saw that board on half this pinball fucking website. Yeah, man, that's right. That's who was 1920 for 2024 when I was, he was doing this board. But, um, yeah, so as I said to you, you know, do it properly. But <laughs> I've got to pull out the Galaxian board. Remember that, um, that last video, the Galaxian board with the easy, um, What's in that zig and zag? There it is here. This is the zig and zag board, okay? I pulled it all off. I ripped everything off. I put new sockets in here. Put sockets everywhere. What happened was <laughs> I was cleaning the board with my toothbrush to get rid of the flux, you know? And I'm scratching away like this. I fucking scared the fucking shit out of my finger. The board looked like it was a blood splatter. So be careful when you're cleaning a board with a toothbrush. Don't have your fingers too close to to the uh, to the through hole thing, as because it's like sandpaper. Mate, I was, I, was, I was going up and down. I'm going, where? Oh, my God, where's all this blood coming out of us? I'm a, I'm a bleeder. I just bleed it everywhere, so I had to wash it. But, yeah, this is what the board is. I've actually um, cleaned it all up. I'm putting it back to, a, to, to an original one, like my last couple of videos. I've done it. Okay, I've actually done all that. So how good it, how did it come up? You know, this was the old um, zig and zag. You know, I went, yeah, man, what's this got to do with the Space Invaders? Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know. He's what to do with another board, you know? But, um, yeah, so, yeah, fucking bleeder, man. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this off today. Okay, I'll put all the sockets in, I'll tidy it all up. But as I said, make sure you take a photo when you work on something from the top. Doesn't matter if it's this or that, whatever. Because if you take it off, you can't see where all the tracks are. But taking a photo, because the reason I'm saying that is, um, I fucked up on one game. Yeah, yeah, I thought I remember where all the tracks were. No, nah, man, did I do a fucking stooge job on that? So now on, every time I take a photo, so I could zoom in, oh, yeah, where this goes, I could work, makes my life easier, you know? So, yeah, you got your phone, pull it out, take a photo off it, you know what I mean? So, as I said, there's plenty of information out there. I'm not going to waffle on about it, but I just wanted to show you that. Yeah, man, we got the point, we got the point. So, yeah, on, so on that note, okay, uh, it's always hard to come up with something to talk about. As I said, on that note, you know, you know the old saying of mine is, you know, pinball machines, video games, uh, poker machines, and and we took the lose. Is a passion, mate. You know that's why I do these things for you. You know, but at least I admit my fuck ups, my fucking. My, 
you got to laugh at it, man. I've been doing it this way for 40 years and I still fuck up, you know? So, guys, put the passion, put the love in it. Keep this shit going, man. Just keep it going. If you fuck up, have a sookie like I have, you know? <laughs> I'm still laughing about the blood splatter, man. I should have seen it. I should have, mate. It was fucking bad because it was just dripping everywhere. Okay? So it's like I cut an artery, you know? But, um, guys, thanks for watching another of my videos. It's always something something for me to come up with, but I just want to, you know, try to find a topic, you know what I mean? So, guys, thanks for watching again. Give me the thumbs. Give me the finger or with a Band-Aid. All right, this is not a cub fucking fingers now. All right, guys, cheers for watching my videos. Cheers.